hello guys welcome back to another tutorial on my channel today we will be making realistic nicely detailed fast and super easy rocks in blender if you have been connected with me on my journey then you will easily be able to make a scene like this one or even this one and if you like dramatic lighting so even this one but first if you are new here or haven't subscribed already then please subscribe and a quick note most of my products are up for sale on my gumroad page and if you love my work and want to support my youtube channel then you can follow me on my patreon as well well back to blender before we start making our rocks i will be showing you guys the scene i created to get this render if you want it you can get it on my gumroad page and if you're new here and want to make grass like this one you can easily check out this video i will be giving its link in the description well delete the cube because we won't be needing it press shift a you will see everything is normal but uh, we don't want anything normal today we need a shortcut that's why we will not be transforming a cube into a rock today so what we will do is to go to edit preferences add-ons search for extra objects and enable it and now when we press shift a there are many new options now but we will only be talking about this one rock generator so when we click on it we immediately get a rock right in the center of our screen we can zoom it it's a rock yeah lack of details but uh, it's a rock and we can also see an add rocks pop-up menu right here left click on it and here we get a lot of options by the way do not left click in any area on the screen because uh, then this option will disappear the first thing you should do here is to increase the display details to 3 and just like that we are starting to see improvements and when we change the deformation we will get completely different rocks same goes for roughness and smooth iterations. I don't usually play with the smooth factor here, but uh, you can give it a shot. This is the first way. Move it to a side. Now shift A again, rock generator. This time what we will do is to uncheck use a random scene. What it means our rock won't change its shape when you will play with the deformation and other settings. It will only change its shape when we will change the user seat. But uh, we can modify it even more by changing these other settings. We can clearly see we have more control of our rock now. We just made two different rocks. If we go to the edit mode now, we can clearly see it's not a complex mesh. Now go to the modifiers tab. We can see all of these modifiers have been added automatically, which of course is making this rock for us. But the fun part doesn't end here. It actually just started. Tap to go to the edit view. Now if we change our vertex positions or even play with the face or edges. And when we tap out, we can see we have a completely different rock here. How's that for even more control? Shift D to duplicate our rock. Again, back to edit mode, change the vertices, and that's it. We can now make simple and easy rocks just by playing with the vertices. How cool is that? We just learned to create rocks but it isn't finished yet without the materials and for that we are going to the shading tab now. Actually I will be making a big plane here first. Now select any rock and then press new to make a new material. We will not be manually setting up any of the textures so for the easy way we have to enable node wrangler first. Now select the principal node and press Ctrl, Shift and T and it will automatically open up a window for us and you will have to find the textures you already have saved in your system and if you don't have any I will be giving a link to the textures in the description so you can download it. I will show you another way to set up uh, the textures using the blend file as well which of course we will do in a while. Click on principal texture setup and we can see it has done an awesome job and saved us from all the hassle we have to do to set up all of these textures manually 
but uh, it isn't looking how we expected it to look like but do not lose hope because uh, we have a quick fix for everything what it's doing wrong here is that it's not using the texture correctly because uh, here it's trying to use the UVs and we didn't set up any UVs so what we will do here is to just switch it to object it's looking better than before but needs a bit more tweaking as well now go to the texture switch flat to box and the blend value change it to something like 0.25 yeah now repeat the same process for all of the other textures you can see it's looking great and it's quite detailed as well now for the other rock this time we will be appending our texture it can be done by going to file append go to the blend file you want to append the textures from double click on the file now double click on the material folder and select this material and append it and nothing has changed yet it's because we only have appended the material but we are not using it right now to use it go to the material editor and select the new material from the drop down menu we can see we have our node set up and uh, we also have a new material on our rock but yeah it needs the same fixes again uv to object then flat to box and blend value to 0.25 You can see now it's looking beautiful we can see a lot of details and if we try to edit it even more we can see the material is working perfectly and it's adopting very nicely with a new shape we can give the other two rocks the same materials as well easily Okay, let's try to scale them up even more. The result is quite nice so if we try to see the result in render view with good lighting by the way if you cannot see scene skies in your world tab i have a separate video on it and i will be giving its link in the description as well we can see the result is quite nice and uh, the rocks are quite detailed yeah they are looking perfect I'm going to quickly create a mini version of the rock as well. So this is it for today. Hope you enjoyed and loved the video. And if you did, then please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you in my next video. You all take care till then and happy blending.